Welcome to this demo of the Dynaway add-on functionality, Transfer Assets, which is a part of Advanced Asset Management for D365 Finance and Operations. So this functionality will enable you to transfer assets back and forth between your legal entities. First, I want to show you how the functionality works, and afterwards I'll show you uh, which setup is required to transfer your assets. So let's go to the system. If we go to Asset Management, we can go to our assets, and I want to see my active assets. Here I just do a filter search for the assets that I want to transfer. And here I want to transfer my forklift number one. So what I do is that I just mark the asset. And here in the menu, we now have the option to transfer asset. So I just click here. And then you just need to choose which legal entity that you want to transfer the asset to. And here I can choose USPI. So I'm going to do that. Now I'll click OK. So now the asset has been transferred and we can see now that it has disappeared from our active assets. So now I just want to go to USPI to see if the legal entity has received my asset. And I want to check all assets. And here we can see that the forklift now um, appears in this legal entity. And here on the line, you can see that it has been installed at the functional location received assets, and it has the current lifecycle state of received. So this is something that I have set up, and I'm going to show you this after the functionality demo. So what you can do here is that you can see the transfer history. So here you have an overview of um, all transfer that has happened on this asset. You can also see the event history. So here you can see all work orders and everything that has been done on this asset. And if you choose to include all legal entities, you can also see if there has been any work done in the other legal entity that it was on before. You also have the option to install the asset at another location and to update the lifecycle state. So now I'm just going to update the state to active. And what I want to do now is that I just want to show you that I can also transfer the asset back. So again, we just choose the legal entity. And here I'm choosing USMF. Click OK. And now we can see here on the line that it has moved to the functional location transferred asset. And it is in the lifecycle state of being transferred. So let's jump back to USMF and let's search for our asset number one. And now we can see here that it has been received and it is in the functional location of being received. So what I want to do now is that I want to install it again at the functional location um, for the forklifts. So I just mark it, click install assets, and then I'm just going to choose the forklift functional location. I will click OK. So now we can see that it has changed location. Also, I just want to make it active again. There. So now the asset has been installed at the right location and is again active and ready to be used. So this was the functionality of transfer assets. So now I just want to show you which setup is required. And you find the setup under asset management, under your setup, and in asset management parameters. So here on the asset, we now have the transfer asset menu. And here you need to do some setup for your incoming assets, and you need to do some setup for your outgoing assets. So what you need to choose is that which, which life cycle state is the asset going to have when it comes into our legal entity and which functional location is it going to be installed at. So I've created a life cycle state called received that I've chosen and a functional location for my received assets. You could choose whatever you like here. I just created these two because I think it gives a really nice overview. 
Again, in the outgoing assets for the lifecycle state, I created one called transferred, and I created a functional location for my transferred assets. Um, yes, so this is basically the setup that you need to have um, before you can transfer your asset. Also here you have the option to, um, to set up if you are going to be allowed to transfer SOP assets. And here I just click no, because I only want to transfer parent assets. And I don't want that you are allowed to, for example, transfer an engine that is in a truck. But you could also do that just clicking yes. So this was the demo of the functionality and the setup for transfer assets. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us on info at dinoe.com.